Marcus, F R E I T A S, 271 Bill Street, Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania, 2705. Greg Fries, I'm the Vice President of Wolfsbury Firefighters Local 104. I've been a firefighter for the city since 1999. I'd like to address the current financial situation the city faces. Before Mayor Layton won his current office, we met years ago with some union members and councilmen Layton. And basically the topic was the current financial situation of the Mayor McCrory. Uh, basically, Councilman Layton at that time laid out some some information about the city's finances and how bad it was, and he asked support from Local 104 if he became mayor, if you know we could do some stuff to uh, financially to keep the city from going in that 47. And uh, the meeting was was attended by a bunch of younger firefighters. There were a bunch of were just hired at that time, and uh, you know we asked the same question then that we're asking now of then councilman now Mayor Layton. How many firefighters would he, would he lay off to avoid Act 47? So long story short, Councilman Layton became Mayor Layton. The firefighters contract also came back from an arbitrator at that time. There was a contract in arbitration that started with Mayor McGrory and Mayor Layton took over and the contract came back from the arbitrator. It was a very lucrative contract for the firefighters. It contained over 14% different raises over four years with no increase in health care. So basically it was, it was it was good for us. Local 104, that he board at that time met with the mayor, and they negotiated a separate contract, which lasted over seven years and saved the city roughly $5 million. We were the first year to pay for health care. We took no raise for the first year. Uh, we've been working with significantly reduced manning since then. Now, just recently, Local 104 and the city negotiated a new contract, minus an arbitrator hoping to save the city some more money, and that went well or so with that. We agreed to get some new pension language for new higher firefighters to bring the city into third class city code compliance. We also agreed to restructure our vacation times to hopefully save some money for the city. And now we're, in, we're facing this financial, financial situation that we're facing right now. Now Local 104 has met the mayor and the other unions in the city to discuss what he would like as far as what the unions could do to help ease this financial burden. And, all, and to sum it all up, all the info, info that we received from the mayor were things are bad. And Local 104 wants to know how bad at this point. Okay. Now, just recently, to further help the finances of the city, three firefighters have re re agreed to retire. Okay. That's roughly $160,000 with salary and, and health care. One firefighter also agreed to volunteer for the layoff, temporary layoff. Now what Local 104 wants to know before any more givebacks occur is how many firefighters does the city intend to lay off? And that's, that's, that's all we want to know. I have some handouts here for city council and whoever else wants them, basically outlining where the Manning was in 2001, where the Manning is right now, the savings per firefighter, Saves per year and a running total since 2002. Now, the running total since 2004, the savings to the city was $9 million. Okay? And where, where, where's, where, where's it going? And why, don't we, why are we looking at layoffs here? These guys back here all have families. Christmas is coming up. What, what, what am I supposed to tell these guys? And their families, for that matter. You know, Local 104 has been willing in the past to work with the city, work with this mayor, to come up with some sort of agreement, and we, we need to know what, what exactly is going on as far as the layoffs go. And that's, that's what I'm here to ask for. We want to know how many firefighters you intend to lay off. And you must have some idea, Mr. Mayor, because like, you have to project some, something. I'm done, done. I just have my hand out here. You can all take a look at them. Sure. Well, you know this administration appreciates the work relationship we've had. Um, we've met several times, I believe, as far as the first time administration, never all four years at once, probably in the history of the city. So we've brought uh, four years together. We are, we are, as I indicated before, we're supposed to be announcing the day or tomorrow very shortly that the uh, requirement of business is region are going to shut their doors. Um, the answer to your question is unknown because it depends on what council and administration can agree on and the tax numbers. If the tax increase
agrees is zero, I can assure you that the numbers will be substantial. If it's halfway, it won't be as bad. But we're looking at every union where we, my staff has been meeting on weekends. Uh, today we're at the third floor conference, which is 9.30 this morning, right up until 5 o'clock. Uh, mm -hmm. Working out, trying to see where we can cut. Nobody wants to lay anybody off, whether it's Christmas time, the holidays, or whether it's the middle of winter. There's no easy time. We don't take this lightly. We take it very seriously. It's been, you know, it's been on our minds. I can tell you, as your staff has worked very hard. We work hard on the, work hard on the budget. We had to put the budget aside for three or four days with the hurricane that we were anticipating coming through. You know, nobody recognized that in the public. So we're working on Saturday and Sundays working on to try to save people's jobs. And we've been here. So we're working with council members to keep them informed. It all determines on where we're going to be with the increase in revenue. And, and the revenue stream has been very slow. Uh, and we're going to see some changes in 2012, which is only you know, six weeks long right now. There's only six weeks left. Uh, but you know, no business can operate when your money is tied up that had been collected. No fault of the city, but we can't get our hands on it. And that's money that's open to us. So nobody can survive when their customers don't pay them. And right now our customers aren't paying us. We can control the expenditure side of the budget. We hold our department heads responsible for that. They will continue to do that because they've done a great job. We can fire them. Uh, when the revenue is not coming in great, something has to happen. You look at City Hall here, through attrition. For the last nine years, City Hall is empty. Park lots. We cut to it. And we're going, to, we're, we're going to try to make the cuts as minimal as possible. But the bottom line is going to be what council and the administration will have. We have to know what we're going to do. Once we determine that, they'll determine what layoffs will happen. When, when do you have the yeah, timeline for the layoff? Sooner than later. Do you have the revenue to pay for, for payroll for the rest of the year for the current firefighters? Less revenue comes in? No. No, I wouldn't say firefighter, I would say fire city workforce. Well, I don't, I, I understand, I understand their problems, but I'm worried about the revenue doesn't come in, that's expected. Now, we expect it to come in. Uh, but for unforeseen reasons, it doesn't come in? No, we will not have it. But that's not, we, we expect it to happen, right? Right now, we expect it to happen. But we will potentially have layoffs. We're going to have layoffs before you. When will you be able to provide a number? Within the next week. You see, my point that I'm trying to make is, if, you know, we, we want to know what's going on. So if there are any more issues that we can discuss in helping the city financially, you're we can't do anything because it's like we're, you know. You're asking me questions I don't have those answers right now. Okay. And again, I emphasize it's not worth for We've held off as long as possibly could. Nobody ever. I did. <laughs> I knew it's been coming for the uh, four years. Uh, Stand support yesterday. I told you. Uh, an hour and a half hours. Going to work on it. We have pensions. It's, it's, it's not a good time to be an elected official, but it's not a good time to be a private business person to have an employee family. You know, I'd just like to say one more thing before I leave that it's like, I'm not going to get into all this technicality <laughs> stuff and FDA and all this other stuff that you've heard in the past. Our numbers are down pretty low to the point where it's possible somebody may get hurt or even possibly die on the fire ground. And I don't want to see that happen. I don't want to face anybody's wife or, or family or anything like that. And, I, and that, that is what's going to, that's what, where we're at right now. Greg, I appreciate that. I, I, I appreciate that. I have for nine years. But I, again, I cannot expect your members work and not pay them. And if somebody can come up and tell me how we're going to pay them, I'm with you. I'm with you 100%. I would love to see more firefighters. I would love to see more police officers. We need more to do the work. And so if somebody shows me that magical formula that will bring that revenue in to pay their salaries, to pay their health, to pay their pension mm -hmm. benefits. Cut your salary, cut everybody's. It's not that we have a pocket full of money like some people think. Share Cut the perks. It's not the buyouts. What is the deficit that you have if, you, if you're not going to be able to make payroll for the end of the year? Is that is that a hard number, Marie? Like that's okay. 
us. I, well, I say it's a hard number, Greg, right? but the thing about it is it's a cash problem. Okay? So that um, we were optimistic that uh, work time will come through for us. I mean, they, cash. they know us. They were our, our EIT. We showed good faith when uh, the county took the vote and we voted for work time work. But of course, the contract ended up going to city pass. So have you, has there been anything developed with that whole city pass 1.2 million? We are on, we were on the phone with Burt um over the last few weeks twice. And um, there, there was a, uh, a court, uh, the court took over, but a receiver has been um, appointed. And um, Burt estimates that they'll start to get the full amounts out of Zen Tax within the next two to three weeks. But they are, you know, they're a good company and, and I have a lot of faith that, that they'll do everything they can to get their money out to all these municipalities. They understand the problem. So that's what we're hedging on, that we will get that cash. Thank you. That's nice. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.